everyone, Victoria is here. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm extremely excited to show you the magic inside Photoshop. Yes, I said magic and today I will show how you can create magic right here inside Photoshop using generative fill. So let's start. First you will need to download Photoshop Beta. You can do it by going to your Creative Cloud app and on the left side of your app, you can see Beta Apps tab. Click on it and uh, you will be redirected to Beta Apps Workspace, where you will need to click on Photoshop Beta to download it. After you downloaded Photoshop Beta, you're ready to go. Today, I would like to start with this image I downloaded from Adobe Stock. You can see that this image is tightly cropped. But what if I would like to expand this image from the top and the bottom? I can do it now using Generative Fill. First, I will use Crop Tool to expand area from the top and the bottom of my original document. And I will click OK to accept all, area, all changes. I will switch to Restangle Market Tool and I will select new areas we just created with you. And now I will click on generative fill just like that. In a prompt text area, I will type nothing. I will leave this uh, area empty and I will click on generate. Generative fill will, gener will analyze my document and new area we just created with you and will fill these areas with extension of our original image, just like that. If you will look at my properties panel, you will see that generative fill generated three different images. I can choose from. My favorite one is the first one. And I would like to mention, and this is very important, that everything is non-destructive. So you can hide a generated image, you can regenerate it, or you can do whatever you want with this. Now, I have another image I downloaded from Adobe Stock, but I would like to see a rest of um, uh, buildings. This image uh, cropped uh, very tightly as well. And uh, what I will do, I will switch to my crop tool. I will expand this image to the right, document, I'm sorry, to the right and to the top, just like that. And I will click OK to accept all changes. Now, using same Restangle Market tool, I will select our new areas we just created with you, just like that. And after that, I will click on Generative Fill. And again, I will leave prompt text area empty and I will click on Generate and Generative Fill will analyze my image in new areas and fill new areas with rest of the image. We ask Generative Fill to generate. Just like that. And again, Generative Fill creates three different images for us. Uh, I can choose, you can choose any of images you like. By the way, you can browse three images from properties panel or directly through um, contextual uh, text bar, just like that. So my favorite is this one. I love it a lot. And again, everything is non-destructive. Now, now let's talk about what if we would like to add something to our image. I took this image in Iceland uh, many years ago and I wished I have a swan at the time I was taking this image, but I wasn't so lucky. Now I can add it. I can bring my luck uh, back. So what I will do using Restangle Market Tool, I will select area. I would like to position my swan and click to on Generative Fill. Here in prompt text area, I will type black swan. I, I'm specifying that I would like to see my black swan, not white swan, not yellow swan. If I will specify yellow swan, generative field will generate yellow swan. But today I would like to generate black swan. So 
Now I will click generate. Again, generate a fill will take a few seconds to analyze my image and will create three different uh, swans for me. Just like that. Now we have three different swans. Look at these swans, how beautiful they are. And if you will look closely to generated image, you will see that generated field didn't just add uh, this blue beautiful swan to the water. Generated field did add reflection to the water under the swan. Look at this. This is pure magic. And again, everything is non distractive. Now, now let's talk about fashion photography. What if we would like to add some jewelry to our uh, fashion portrait? Um, do we need to spend hours looking for some specific jewelry and after that composite it inside uh, into our uh, image? Absolutely not. I will switch to a rectangle marquee tool again. Yes, I'm using this tool again and I will specify area for earring. I will click on generate fill and I will type fashion earring prompt. I will click on generate and generate a fill will add three different fashion earrings for me. I can choose from. Look at this. We have three different earrings. Let me zoom in for better preview for you. Look at this. Three different earrings for you. If I would like to change style of, uh, example, this particular earring, I don't need to uh, reselect this area or uh, do anything uh, extra. What I will do, I will highlight fashion word uh, in my properties panel and I will exchange to gold. So now I have gold earring uh, prompt text and I will click on generate. And again, generate a field will take just a few seconds to generate new, um, three new earrings for me. Just like that. I can choose any of this uh, earring. My favorite is the first one. By the way, Photoshop didn't delete our first um, set of um, generated earrings. Uh, now we have six different um, earrings. And by the way, if you know example, you will not use this earring, you can delete it. So now you can have your um, file more organized, your document more organized. And you can regenerate uh, your earring at any times. But if you will merge your layers, you will be not able to regenerate specific generation you did before you merged your layers. Keep it in mind. Now let's talk about another example. I have this very happy girl uh, wearing beautiful t-shirt, but what if I would like to change her outfit? If I would like to change uh, her t-shirt to sweater? I can do it by selecting her um, t-shirt and I don't have to be very careful with my selection. Absolutely not. Just select her t-shirt just like that. And I will click on generate a fill. In prompt area, I will type sweater prompt and I will click on generate. Generate a fill will analyze uh, my image and will uh, generate three different images of sweater for me. Just like that. Look at this. Three different sweaters. So how beautiful is it? This is poor magic. But what if I would like to change uh, her sweater to example summer dress. Before I will do that, I would like to point your attention to everything is non-destructive. Now we have two different outfits for her, her t-shirt and her sweater. And now I will highlight sweater prompt in my properties panel and I will type summer dress just like that. I will click on generate and generate a fill will generate summer dress for me. Three different summer dresses. Just like that. Look at this. Now we have three different summer dresses. Look at this. 
And now this very happy girl has three different outfits. Her original t-shirt, her summer dress and her sweater. Just like that. Now, now let's talk about this beautiful giraffe. I love this giraffe. He's very happy. Uh, just uh, looking at us and saying, hi, how are you? Now I would like to add some fashion details to my giraffe. What I will do, I will switch to Restangle Margit tool. I will select part of his neck. I will click on generative fill and in prompt text area, I will type scarf and I will ask generative fill to generate scarf for me again. Uh, generative fill will take just a few seconds to analyze my image and um, generate three different scars, just like that. Uh, my favorite one is the first one. Look at no, third one. Yes, look at this beautiful. And now I will add something special. I will select part of his ear. And I will ask Generative Fill to generate some flower because I love some flowers. So why not? And I will click on Generate. Generative Fill will generate three different sunflowers for me. I can pick, I can choose any of these um, flowers. Look at this. And again, everything is non-destructive. Now let's talk about removing. I downloaded this image from Adobe Stock and I love this image. I love uh, colors. I love mountains. I love uh, the sky. But this person who sits uh, on the bench uh, doesn't tell any story for me. So I would like to remove him. I can remove it using um, um, our uh, Photoshop tools, which we were using before, but why I need to spend uh, so many hours or even uh, half hour tournaments, I can do everything better and faster. Using uh, um, a Restangel Margit tool, I will select this person, which doesn't tell any story, and I will click on Generative Fill. I will leave prompt text area empty and I will click on Generate. Again, Generative Fill will take just a few seconds to analyze my image and will remove uh, this person, uh, creating three different images for me. Just look at this. Absolutely magical. Guys, it's out of this world. It's poor magic. Look at this. Just under a few seconds. Next step is white canvas. So what if I don't have any image? What if I don't have anything? I have just this uh, simple white canvas, but I have my imagination. I would like to create something. I can do it. I can do it even using this boring white canvas. What I will do, I will select area in the canvas. I would like to add some image or assets and I will click on generative fill. In prompt text area, I will type breakfast, just like that, breakfast. And I will click on generate. So guys, this is empty, empty canvas, nothing in it, just white the white color. So generative fill will take just a few seconds and voila, look at this. This is our breakfast. This is my favorite. So guys, this is what, uh, all what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, download Photoshop beta, try generative fill and share with me uh, your creation. Share with me your creation on Twitter or 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 on Instagram. Thank you so much and I will see you later. Enjoy! Bye!